Boo! With across the universe and suspicious minds, you sort of went to a more restrained spot. Nothing's gonna change my world. Nothing's gonna change my world. Were you trying to like mix where you were going vocally or is it just a product of the songs that you were picking? I'd started to get negative feedback on screaming, right? which it's not screaming, and I will fight to the death on that point, but Simon would be like, what, are you just gonna scream every song? I guess it is your thing, but I don't think you hit the notes anywhere near as well as you've done before. I think it was the second week of live shows. I was working with Deborah Bird, the, one of the vocal coaches, mm -hmm. and she made a really good point to me. She said, you're starting to remind me of Bo Bice because when Bo was here, every song he picked, it seemed as though the order he was picking them in, it flowed as if he were making a CD mm. or a set list. And that was always something I had in the back of my mind after she said that, because you want to think of your last performance and you want to try and think of what makes sense next. Mm -hmm. And I know that Simon would often say to me, what if this was the first time I heard you? then I probably wouldn't like you. If this was the first time I'd ever seen you... But it's not. In the same judgment, he would then say... And I am getting bored of the screaming at the end. But if it were the first time you heard me, I'd want you to hear my scream. But that's another right. problem in itself. Yeah. You have to figure... Most people watching, this isn't the first time they heard me. So I want to give them something that makes sense in True. this order. I tried to consider where I went in my last performance every time I picked my next one. <laughs> You started to get painted with the confusing brush. The first part of that performance is one voice, and the second is kind of this crazy screaming thing. And it's just, it's getting confusing for me. I understand. I can understand why I would seem confusing. But it's because my tastes are so varied, and I can't put myself in a box, and I refuse to. Even I can't pinpoint who or what I am, and I've, I've always kind of taken pride in that. The modern music business likes to put people in a box. We like you to be R&B, or we like you to be pop, or we like you to be country. What do you think about that? I think it's a wicked bummer. I mean, I, I don't want to be put in, in a box. That's, I'd get claustrophobic mm -hmm. and, uh, no, I'm just being a wise ass, but I just like so many different things. Mm -hmm. And, you know, sue me if that, if that angers you, but they're always like, be yourself, be yourself. Okay, well, here I am, and I like this and this and this and this and this. Yeah. And I need to change things up, to, even down to, my hairstyle. I've got to have a mohawk before I'm 30. I've just got to. I always like get scissor happy and cut my own hair and if it leads to me having a mohawk then so be it. It's happened <clears throat> because I get bored yeah. and so that's the same way I would feel about if I had to record the same genre of music forever. Did you ever consider going the mohawk route on Idol and just think well hello America it's Tuesday night surprise. Yes. You did. Um. <laughs> I think that would have been kind of awesome. Well since when they showed a picture of my old mohawk, yes, and a lot of people came up to me and they're like, "That looked really cool. You should do it again." I was like, "Don't tell me that, because I will. I probably will." <laughs> and you know, it's really tempting because it's just fun. I love that feeling when your hair is buzzed and you rub your hands the other way. It just feels really cool. I wonder what America would have done if you were the woman with the buzz cut <laughs> they singing voted me Helter off. Skelter. They'd it be like, Satanist! <laughs> Boo! You might have gotten some, you know, Which there might I'm have been not. a segment that, I'm, no. I'm not no. a Satanist. Just want to clear that up. Yeah. The look, <laughs> I don't even want to say. <laughs> It's important to say that because it otherwise is. a sound bite gets taken, can be taken and, the wrong yeah, way. If you just take one sound bite and run with it, you know, suddenly it becomes a headline and another and another I've learned that from um, joking about getting a tattoo on my butt. It was a joke. Mm -hmm. But then I, you know, it came up and so, we heard about your tattoo <laughs> on your butt. Oh, brother.